Could you be the next victim of identity theft? According to the Federal Trade Commission, identity fraud incidents increased around 45% in 2020, incurring huge financial losses for people like you. In 2021, the trend continued, with Americans suffering a total of $56 billion in losses, according to Javelin Strategy. And the older you are, the more likely you are to become a victim. How much of your personal information can be found online? Enter your name in this website, truepeoplesearch.com, and find out. Scan this code with your phone. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. See what happens? Surprised? Concerned? I'm sure you are. Now you see how real the problem is. You may want to consider selecting privacy at the bottom of that website to have your information removed from public view. They're required to give you that option, but that's just one of many websites and databases out there collecting and selling your personal information. Where did they get your information? Most likely it's from you. From little things you do every day that expose your information to the world. You fill out surveys, you click on email links, you share on social media. You want to know what you can do? You want to know how to stop it? Here's how. Author Tim Trott has published a new book. In that book, you'll learn about identity theft and how you can avoid becoming a victim. The book is Guarding Against Online Identity Theft, and it's available for online order in ebook form through Amazon Kindle, Barnes & Noble Nook, Smashwords, Apple iBooks, Angus & Robertson's, Mondadori, Indigo, and others. The paperback version is available from Amazon.com. It's also available in audiobook form. You might also find a Spanish version. For more information, go to the website, guardingidentity.com.